everyone today we're going to talk about microplastic pollution which is one of the biggest problem that we are facing right now so what are microplastic microplastic are made from plastic in the marine environment the plastic turns into marine plastic litter of different shapes and sizes broken down by UV light from the sun, salt, and other abiotic factors. Microplastic, as the name implies, are tiny plastic particles of a length of less than 0.2 inches or 5 millimeters. Microplastic have been detected in marine organisms from plankton to whales in commercial seafood and even in drinking water they enter natural ecosystem from a variety of sources including cosmetics clothing and industrial process what produced microplastic what does it come from and what kind of product that cause microplastic type of microplastic there are primary microplastic and secondary microplastic the primary one is tiny particle design for commercial use such as cosmetic as well as um, microfiber shed from clothing and other textiles such as some fishing nets and secondary microplastic is like particle that result from the breakdown of larger pieces of plastic like water bottles or any plastic product. Where do microplastic come from? Plastic breakdown to microplastic. This breakdown is caused by exposure to environmental factor, mainly the sun's radiation and ocean waves. And this on the right hand side is the pie chart that show how many percentage of microplastic that came from each categories of uh, source. This is some example of sources that show on the pie chart recently. Their commercial product and break down larger plastic, health and beauty products, which is like can be from soap or toothpaste. And the, the last one is from industry. The microplastic can come from um, city dust as well. Here we are focusing on the biggest source of microplastic, which is 35% on pie chart, is synthetic textile in regular. Washing, washing synthetic textile is freeing engineered microplastic through uh, abris abrasion and shedding on fiber from the fabric. That is due to the mechanical and chemical stresses and the fabric undergo during a washing process in a laundry machine. So the microplastics just like go everywhere in the water and then spread out to nature. What microplastic causes? So the first impact is on marine environment as microplastic travel to waterways and end up in the ecosystem. Also, they serve as a home for marine life, including orca, zooplankton, fish, crabs, sea turtles, and birds. Also, it causes marine life to become trapped in pieces of plastic, like old fishing line, and struggle to death. Microplastics are also a concern, particularly in the ocean because they are so easily ingested by living things. The second impact is on human. Some research suggests that uh, human consume more than 8,000 of microplastic per year. And ecologists have found that microplastic often make their way into food and drinking water, such as fish, salt, and honey. Eventually, we are on the final part of microplastic pollution. There are various solutions in order to reduce the microplastic. Firstly, we have to change how to laundry. A lot of clothes that are partly made of plastic. Think of a polyester t-shirt or yoga pants because it is a cheap and versatile material for manufacturers. But clothing made from plastic is one of the biggest sources of microplastic pollution in the world. And most of this pollution comes from doing laundry. In fact, a single load of laundry can release more than 1 million microplastic fibers into the environment through both the wastewater generated by washing machines and the exhaust from dryers. The solution is to install a filter in your washing machines that catches microplastic. Secondly, we had to buy clothes which made from natural materials. 
Instead of settling for garments made out of plastic, seek out brands that only use natural materials such as cotton, silk, wool, hemp, and linen. The risk of microplastic pollution goes down to zero if only on clothes made from natural materials. Thirdly, we have to stop using single-use plastic. Pretty much all plastic eventually breaks down into microplastic over time. There are some simple things that can do to reduce microplastic, such as buying a reusable water bottle, tote bags for grocery and multi-use stores. Here is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention.